Welcome to The Real Scoop. I'm Jane Nielsen, your host and realtor at Pinnacle Residential Properties. I am here to give you the latest scoop on Wellesley Real Estate. Today, we have the pleasure of meeting Evan Martin of Carmel Movers. Evan is going to tell us about staging your home for sale. Welcome, Evan. Hi, Jane. Thank you for having me. Glad to have you. First, here are the numbers. Since June 28th, six new single-family homes were added to the supply and 16 went under agreement. There are now 140 homes remaining for sale in Wellesley. This time frame, of course, included the 4th of July weekend, so it is a pretty active July. Now, on to our guest, Evan Martin. So, Evan, what exactly is staging? Well, staging is like interior design, but you are getting the home ready to sell as opposed to getting the home interior design to stay. So you're making it marketable, less days on market, and more money. Great. And we all want more money. More money, less days on the market. Mm -hmm. And um, MSNBC has said that if you do not stage your home, you can expect your home on average to stay on the market for 4.5 months as opposed to 1.5 months if you do stage your home. Wow. So there are plenty of statistics that are out there mm -hmm. that are very much in favor of staging, as Barbara Corcoran will say, it used to, now staging is the norm. Mm -hmm. People should not consider putting their house on the market unless it is staged mm -hmm. and making it marketable to sell. So in my experience as a realtor, some homes have way too much stuff and some homes actually don't have enough stuff. So we've worked together on a couple different projects. Yes. So it would be probably be great for our viewers to hear how we approach it from day one. So, sure. So tell us about the different types of staging first. Well, what I do as a staging consultant, I will come into your home, we will go room to room, and we will edit out whatever it does not need to be there or is not adding to the beauty of the room or is just adding clutter. Clutter is not your friend mm -hmm. when you're selling your home. Um, and we go room to room. We look at the floor design of the furniture, whether it is the optimal design for the room or if there are any architectural details or of interest, we want to focus on those. And we go room to room and position, reposition the furniture. We may hang the art higher or lower. Mm -hmm. We may edit out a lot of the art. and Or there is also something called vacant staging, and that's normally when you have new construction and you have a completely empty home. Mm -hmm. And 90% of the population cannot visualize empty spaces. They cannot picture their furniture there. So the purpose of staging is to give them an example of what the home could look like mm -hmm. with their things in it. And our furniture is transitional. It's usually whites, mm -hmm. you know, or off-whites. And we have over $160,000 worth of inventory. Oh my goodness. Yes. So you, you have the benefit of being part of a moving company, because I know some stagers have to rent furniture to fill a particular spot and don't necessarily own their own things. So right. that makes you cost, of, um, cost effective too. With Carmel Moving, they are a full-fledged moving company mm -hmm. and I had the staging, I'm the project manager for staging for the company and we only stage for realtors. We are here to help realtors sell their houses. Mm -hmm. Our staging consultations are free uh, I will come to the home, visit the home with you, and meet your, your clients. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, staging advice is better heard from, from a stager, mm -hmm. a complete stranger, than to hear it from the realtor, because it is personal, and some of the things are difficult to say. Mm -hmm. Well, I do know one of my colleagues had you consult with a client, and you were tough. She said, boy, Evan is tough. She said, you've got to get rid of those those plants or you know you really have to get rid of that chair and people don't necessarily understand that what we're trying to do is get and you're trying to help us get people to look at the house and fall in love with the house and not look at their stuff correct and that, that's basically the difference between interior design and staging correct great that's um, so walk us through the steps so you come through with us you meet the seller 
you do the room by room consultation. And then I believe um, every time we work together, you've provided a list. A written... I will provide a written staging mm -hmm. report for, I will copy you and I will send it to the homeowner of my findings and my recommendations mm -hmm. for staging. And so then um, they can decide to do it, take your, <laughs> take your advice. Yes. Um, all or none or some. Yes. And then um, if they need furniture, then how does that work? If I am working through you mm -hmm. as a realtor, I will, we have two plans for staging. There is the partial stage where we're just really going to stage two rooms. Mm -hmm. And that is $1,000. And that basically covers the cost of the three men bringing the furniture from our warehouse, unpacking it, bringing mm -hmm. it to your house setting it up, and then you have the benefit of the furniture free for three months. Mm -hmm. If you also need storage, if you have far too much furniture mm -hmm. uh, and the house would look better or would show better with less furniture, you have the option of staging it with us for free for three months. Mm -hmm. you, the cost to you will be the amount that has to be wrapped up you know, put on the truck and then placed in a, a storage, storage facility. facility. Ah, got it. Oh, interesting. Um, so that that's so that covers a partial stage. Mm -hmm. If you need to have two or more rooms done, mm -hmm. meaning you need two sofas at least, uh, usually a living room, a dining room, a family room, mm -hmm. uh, a kitchen. We try to stay away from bedrooms. Bedrooms are pretty self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. um, we don't do those necessarily. Mm -hmm. uh, but the first floor is really key. Mm -hmm. And these potential customers make up their minds in nine seconds when they enter a home. Wow. Whether or not they like what they see in general. Mm -hmm. And so you really have to wow them at the front door. Mm -hmm. You can look at the front door as your table of contents and the rest of the rooms are the other chapters. Mm -hmm. um, but you really have to wow them when they walk in. Mm -hmm. So I'm very surprised to hear that Barbara Corcoran, who we all know from um, Shark Tank yes. and also from her amazing real estate career in New York City. So um, we were talking about this, how staging actually started in Canada? It's originated in Canada. Mm -hmm. In Canada, most of the shows that you see on HGTV about staging take place in mm -hmm. Canada. Mm -hmm. The others take place uh, in California. That was really the second place to catch on. It's been slow to catch on in the East. Mm -hmm. It's just not the most accepted concept. Uh, I think realtors understand the value of staging, but not necessarily the homeowners. Mm -hmm. uh, when I meet a lot of homeowners, they are shocked at what I might have to suggest mm -hmm. as far as clutter mm -hmm. or the amount of furniture or mm -hmm. things like that. Or collections maybe don't belong collections on the bookshelves. Collections are not great. Uh -huh. Pictional, pi personal pictures mm -hmm. um, really don't belong there. You don't want a bunch of strangers seeing your family in the first place, mm -hmm. nor do you want your, your pictures, your family pictures, to take time away from potential buyers. Mm -hmm. You want them to be looking at the home and not your family photos. I've often wondered about that because I, I do, and I have to say, I, I probably do stop and look at them, but um, if I always thought maybe a couple give it warmth and some sense of family, but in general you say golf, all personal Unless photos. Unless it's tastefully done mm -hmm. and you don't have too many where it's overwhelming, mm -hmm. you know, I would suggest something like that. Mm -hmm. And also, I have, um, I've been in real estate 11 years and when I started, you were absolutely right. It was very unusual to see something staged and now it's gotten quite routine, um, especially with new construction and I'm actually married to a builder and I can tell you from experience that it's really hard for the because you're like the last expense for the builder so it is um it's hard and i have worked with other builders and it's hard sometimes to make them understand that it's it's the, the best money they could spend <laughs> well they polled two thousand realtors who had staged homes and they all said that the people that did stage their homes did realize a 200 percent return 
on what they invested to stage. And, staging. and there's another figure. If you invest one to three percent of mm -hmm. the value of your home in staging, you will get that back tenfold. Mm -hmm. So it really does pay to stage. Wow, that and is a major number. I also wanted to go back and mention that when we do come and stage, we have also our own art, our own accessories, mm -hmm. rugs, uh, and that. So it gives you the total picture. Oh, that's nice. Yes. That's great. It completes the room. And you have kind of an interesting background because I know that you have a really great expertise um, with paint colors, which I've seen in action consulting with sellers. Because again, sometimes when we're trying to make a room show at its absolute best, it's again an easier coming from you, but to suggest so maybe mustard yellow is not the best color for the family room anymore. Maybe a nice, tasteful, Oh, maybe gray. Yes. <laughs> everything's, everything's 50 Every, shades of gray now. Everything is 50 shades of gray yes. now. It's a very popular color. Uh, I am a color consultant. I did attend RISD. Mm -hmm. uh, I have been doing interior design for 25 years. I had my own business with a partner, and we, as a result of declining interior design jobs, mm -hmm. we thought that we should start catching on to the new wave of staging. Mm -hmm. So we did a lot of, uh, we went to a lot of meetings at real estate agencies mm -hmm. and explained what we do as stagers. At that time, we rented furniture from staging furniture rental companies. Mm -hmm. Now I have my own inventory, but um, that's really how we got started mm -hmm. was the demand changed. Mm -hmm and we had to keep up with the times, so we became certified. I'm also a member of the Real Estate Staging Association called RESA, ah, okay. which most stagers are members of. Mm -hmm. And that also is a good source and um, very good for information and statistics and things like that. Mm -hmm. Do you have any um, real success stories or projects you're working on lately that have excited you or we do. We have some projects. We have been working with the families for four months to get their house ready for us to bring in our staging. Mm -hmm. They had that much decluttering to do. They rented dumpsters. They rented pods. Mm -hmm. They also used our storage. Um, and we picked out the, I picked out the wall colors, the granite, the flooring. Wow. They really took what our what we suggested to heart to get mm -hmm. more money so they invested probably twenty thousand dollars and um, the home was there was one home that was staged on thursday and it sold friday afternoon oh my goodness we have That's many terrific. success stories of staging during the week and it sells the first weekend if you would like to find out more information about staging your home for sale give evan a call at 508 314-3581. Or you could email her at evan at realestatestaging.net. If you have a suggestion about a future guest or a Wellesley event you would like to promote, please give me a call at 781-223-7338 or visit my website at janenielsen.com. And remember, if you are considering listing your home for sale, give me a call and Evan and I will come right over to tell you what you need to do to get started. Thanks for joining us at The Real Scoop.